Having smooth scene changes makes your videos compelling. The more effortless the scene change, the more exciting it is to watch. Today I'm going to show you how to make smooth scene changes in a video, using both sound effects and transitions, and also during filming itself, to level up your storytelling. You can do this in various different editors, but I use Kapwing because all of these elements are built into the editor, which makes it super easy. But in order to have scenes to change between, you are going to have to upload your footage. To do that, go ahead and click on the link down here in the bio. Once you're here, click Get Started, and you will see these options. If you're on your computer, you can drag your footage from your desktop, or you can upload footage straight from a URL link. Once you've done that, you will see a page with all of your videos laid out in your timeline. Now you can hover over the ends of each clip and click and drag the ends to trim them to be exactly the size you want. If you need more help trimming, go and check out the other video that walks you through a ton of trimming tips, but once you have everything trimmed, it is time to start exploring scene changes. Now, there are two main ways you can go about this. The first is to combine transitions and sound effects. To add a transition, move your mouse over to the left side of the studio editor where you will see the transitions tab. When you click that, you will see a library of transitions. For smooth transitions, especially if you're going from a video into a logo or an image, I recommend using a wipe. You can hover over each transition option and see what works for you, but let's say you want to use wipe left. All you have to do is click and drag the transition you want to between two video clips and a black square with two triangles will appear. When you click that square on the right, you will see options to speed up or slow down your transition. You can preview what this looks like by pressing the space bar to make sure you make your scene changes look exactly the way you want them. Next, let's pair that with sound effects. To do this, find the audio tab on the left side of your studio editor. Click it and then find sound effects at the top. Click that and you will see the sound effect library. For smooth scene changes, I recommend a swoosh. So I'm going to type in swoosh in the search bar. There are a couple of options here. Preview what they sound like by clicking the play button. And when you find the one you want, click the box to put it into the timeline. From there, you can once again click and drag the ends to make it the size you want. Click and drag it to where your transition is happening. And voila, you've got a smooth and amazing scene change. The other way to go about making compelling scene changes without editing too much is filming your scene changes. You saw me do one of these earlier, which is to end a clip by putting your hand over the lens like this and begin the next clip by pulling your hand away. It's super fun and super easy to do. Another film scene change you can do is swipe across the screen like this. There are a ton of different scene changes you can edit or film, so play around with all your different options and see what you like. As a reminder, you can export your video by clicking the green export video button in the right hand corner. You will be taken to a page where you will see the video process, and when it's done, you can click download file and it will download straight onto your device. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a like and let us know down in the comments below if you have any thoughts or questions or videos you want us to make in the future. Don't forget to subscribe. We put out videos every week on how to level up your storytelling by creating amazing videos. Thank you so much for watching and happy editing.